everyone! I have a little haul from Simon Says Stamp that I thought I would share with you. Of course, my baby is napping and this is the loudest thing ever. So we'll just do this. So this pen, I use it all the time for art journaling and it's fantastic. The company, I guess, is Otto. It's made in Japan. <laughs> and it's called Feud Ball 1.5 so the tip is quite thick but I found that um, it's a really good size for me in my opinion for art journaling and you can see me using it uh, in my videos all the time and I'm kind of running low so I ordered a new one uh, a few new things to me these are the Dina Wakely Media Tools, Media Tools, and they are uh, rubber, which is fantastic because that means that uh, it will be very hard for me to destroy them uh, because I treat my brushes and tools horribly, uh, especially the ones that I use with paint. I'm more careful with my watercolor stuff, and they're also easier to. Um, you know, to keep in good condition because they only have contact with watercolors which are not permanent and don't like dry on your brushes and ruin them. So you get this nice variety of sizes, like a bigger size and a smaller size. And these are pretty uh, inexpensive. Um, I don't think they are, I don't know about the quality. I've had uh, a brush from Dina Wakely and the um, like the hairs of the brush seem okay but the what's this called thing this thing <laughs> um, pulled apart pretty fast from the wooden part. You can obviously glue it together so it's not an issue but um, yeah you can find these type of tools in art stores and they're super expensive so I think um, it's a uh, good value and this feels a little bit wobbly here but all in all they look uh, very nice and I look forward to playing with them. Um, I got these adhesive canvas. I thought it would be fun just to play around with something. So there are sheets, eight sheets of canvas with a sticky back. So, you know, you could either play with these and then cut them and glue them in your art journal or you could first glue them and then um, do whatever you want when they are already on your page. So these look fun. I like the different texture. I will leave the most exciting, obviously, to the end. Um, I got this stencil mask and stencil from Dina Wakely and I really like it that it comes with uh, both of these. So you can really uh, play. And I like these weird shapes. Leaves are always fun. You know, you could, um, yeah, you could outline these and color them in or just lots of uh, possibilities. I will be playing with these in future art journal spreads. Uh, these also looked like a lot of fun to me. So these are journal tape from Dilutions. Um, the Dilutions uh, range and also the Dina Wakely are by Ranger. And this includes two sheets each of um, different uh, widths. So you get six in total. And there's like three quarters of an inch, one inch, and one and a half inch. So you can see, I think, wait, the camera picks up. Yeah, you can see the tape on it. And this is the one and a half inch, obviously. And you can, you know, stamp on them, draw on them, decorate them. It says decorate, peel, stick. So that looks like a lot of fun. And yeah, I just wanted some stuff that I can play with in my art journal. And these I'm very excited to try. So I have... Um, a lot of similar things, or I think at least in principle, um, similar things to these scribble sticks by Dina Wakely. 
Um, what I liked about hers uh, is first of all the colors. I like her choice of colors. And also, uh, I mean, look at this. The colors are just gorgeous. Really, really pretty, pretty colors. And um, they, I think they're supposed to coordinate with her paints. Not that that is, um, I mean, I like, I also have her paints because I like the colors. Um, but yeah, I just, they just seemed like a lot of fun. Uh, it says the sticks are versatile, high quality pigment sticks, these unique woodless colorant colorants sketch like a pencil but are water soluble like watercolor. So um, they look, I have a lot of, you know, crayons and um, like water soluble pastels. These definitely seem um, not as creamy as the distress crayons for example or the prima ones um and they seem more similar to the neo color too so i'll be playing around with them this color is gorgeous the turquoise ah oh, it's just perfect love it so I'll play with them and I'll try also to uh, play with them and the new colors together so I can get an idea if, you know, if they're similar, if you already have like one of them, um, is it worth it to get the other and yeah, tell you my uh, opinion of these little babies. But of course I had to try them. And last but not least, I also got a few, I really like it that the uh, Dina Wakely came out with her paints in smaller packages because I have a lot of paint and uh, it takes me a while to go through one. So I took a few colors that I didn't have and wanted. And uh, also I thought I would try the black gesso. Um, what I like about using gesso is that it's usually very matte so uh, as opposed to acrylic paint that uh, most of the time depends on the paint of course but most of the time acrylic paint has some sort of glossy or semi-gloss finish and i really uh, wonder about the gesso um i'll try maybe i should do i don't even know if i have black acrylic paint um try and do a comparison of how they behave I'll check if I have black acrylic paint, I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, I picked out these three colors that are relatively newer and they are blushing, fuchsia, and elephant. And yeah, they're really, really lovely. So maybe I'll just do like a layout, like an art journal spread with all these. Anyway, oh, ooh, and this, I forgot this. I also got this media tape, printed paper tape, colorized with media acrylic paint. So you can customize it. And that's what I was curious about this because I have washi tape and most of it from what I've noticed when I use it, it's a little bit more resistant to, um, you know, paint and watercolors. But I wonder how this will behave. So I think we'll just have to, and it has a nice, um, it's it's quite sticky. So that's good because in art journal, you don't want those washies that don't stick at all um, because then they just fall apart. So I think I have to go play. So you get three in this package, in this media tape. Um, there's a, a thinner one and then a medium size. This looks about an inch three quarters of an inch and this one is I'm just comparing it to the tape here so this one's an inch wide and it has these cute little uh, circles on it very cute I think I will add it here <laughs> it has also that um, little strip and this uh, nice uh, pattern of chevron and this one is also really fun it's a sketchy 
sketchy one. So I really like it and I really like um, such prints because they're very versatile. I also have her um, regular tape, I mean regular in the sense that it has no pattern on it, that I got a while ago and that reminds me that I should use it more. Um, it's, it's a little bit uh, resistant to watercolors, but probably with paint it would work well. So I'm looking forward to playing with all these goodies. Thanks for watching. Bye.